Well, joy is critical for the public square because uh, it is really easy for Christians when they're engaging in public debates uh, to do so in a carnal way. And that's, that's regardless of whether they're doing that in the United States Congress or on television or just on their Facebook feeds, you know, arguing with the unbelievers that they have around them. And so if you, if you get into this dark mentality where every disagreement is about me, about you, and it, you, you can easily turn into this sort of Darwinian uh, struggle that can turn you into what Jesus says is the way that the Gentiles act. And so what joy does is to focus us on what really ultimately matters and to, and to give us a sense of perspective. I mean, th these things are important, but these things are not ultimately important. And so having the sorts of affections that are trained uh, in that end is, is really helpful. Because if you don't, then what happens is that a Christian uh, just becomes so focused on whatever issue he or she is concerned about that that can become an idol. Even when it's something that's good, uh, it can become an idol, and, and that, of course, ultimately leads to despair, and despair leads to meanness, uh, and meanness leads to a, a countering of the mission.